All the earth shall bow down before you, O God, shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. We have seen that Jesus has been given a ministry of a far higher order, and to the same degree it is a better covenant of which he is the mediator, founded on better promises. If that first covenant had been without a fault, there would have been no need for a second one to replace it. And in fact, God does not find fault with them. He says, See, the days are coming, it is the Lord who speaks. When I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They abandoned that covenant of mine, and so I on my side deserted them. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel when those days arrive. It is the Lord who speaks. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts. Then I will be their God and they shall be my people. There will be no further need for neighbor to try to teach neighbor or brother to say to brother, learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me, the least no less than the greatest, since I will forgive their iniquities and never call their sins to mind. By speaking of a new covenant, he implies that the first one is already old. Now anything old only gets more antiquated until in the end it disappears. The word of the Lord. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and give us your saving help. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from heaven. Mercy and faithfulness have met. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Mercy and faithfulness have met. God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself, and he has entrusted to us the news that they are reconciled. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went up into the hills and summoned those he wanted. So they came to him and he appointed twelve. They were to be his companions and to be sent out to preach with power to cast out devils. And so he appointed the twelve 
Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanerges, or sons of thunder. Then Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, the man who was to betray him. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> Through the good news, God has called us to share the glory of Jesus Christ. May his love be upon us as we make our intercession for the needs of humanity. Jesus summoned those he wanted. The Lord has summoned us through faith and baptism. May we be ever mindful of his call. Lord, hear us. And he appointed twelve for the successors of the twelve, for our Holy Father, the Pope, and for all the bishops of God's church, that like the twelve they may be tireless in preaching and healing. Lord, hear us. They were to be his companions and were sent out to preach. May all who engage in the preaching mission preach from intimacy with him who is the word of life. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us, and we pray for all who have died. And remember Mary Perry, whose first anniversary is today, and the anniversary of P. Norwood. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we offer you our prayers for all who are in need. May your spirit of love come upon them. May they experience your saving help. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. And we pray for our ladies continuing help for us. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was aided. <clears throat> Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgin, my mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions. In your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, his assistant, Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her venerable spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, Lamb of God. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. <laughs> Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this one heavenly bread 
one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and stay safe.